now we start about that uh, we discussed about that IUPAC nomenclature. So what is the abbreviation of IUPAC nomenclature? IUPAC means International International Union Union of Pure and uh, Applied Applied Chemistry. This is an abbreviation of uh, IUPAC. Generally, IUPAC nomenclature we divided into three parts. So IUPAC nomenclature we divided into three parts. This is a whenever we have to discuss about that IUPAC nomenclature. First, you have to divide the three types. One is a root word, a root word. Then another one is suffix. Then another one is prefix. Again, suffix again further divided two types. That is a Primary suffix, primary suffix, generally we, we wrote one degree. Then secondary suffix, two degree means that is secondary suffix. Here also same thing, that is a prefix also we divided into two types. That is a primary prefix, primary prefix. Then another one is a secondary prefix, secondary prefix. So any molecule they will give, you have to find out first root word. What is the root word? So what is the suffix? What is the prefix, prefix is present in this system? You have to find out. So now I will discuss what is that root word. So root word, root word to indicate the, to indicate the, indicate the number of carbons, number of carbons present in the system present uh, in the system so how many carbons are there present in the system how many carbons are there that it indicates root word root word always indicates number of carbons so here for example i will take the serial number here number of carbons number of carbons here another one is a root word. Root word. If it is a number of carbons is a C1. Only one carbon is there. You should write down myth is a root word. So we put hyphen. Hyphen means word is not finished. Something is there. Means what is a something? Prefix and a suffix. Suffix is always you have to write down after the root word. Prefix always you have to write down before the root word. Pre means before the root word. Suffix means after the root word. Then if it is uh, two carbons are there, that is it. If it is uh, three carbons are there, that is uh, proper. If it is uh, four carbons are there, that is uh, but. Then if it is uh, five carbons are there, that is pent. Pent. Then six carbons are there, hex. Seven are there, that is a hepto. Don't write down septa. So eight are there, oft. Nine are there, known. Ten are there, that is a deck. If it is eleven carbons are there, do deck. Sorry, on deck. On deck. On deck. If it is twelve carbons are there, do deck. Means it shows 12 carbons. This is a, you have to find out the first system. Whatever that system they will give, first you have to find out a root word. How many carbons are there? So for example, three carbons are there. That root word is a proper. Root word is a proper. If it is four carbons are there, good. If it is two carbons are there, it. You have to find out first the number of carbons. Now we discuss about that suffix. Again, suffix we divide into two types now. What are those? One is a primary suffix. Primary suffix that is generally we wrote to one degree suffix. That it shows primary suffix. Then another one is secondary suffix. That is a two degree suffix. One degree suffix, two degree. So here we discuss about that primary suffix. What is a primary suffix? 
what indicates so here it indicates the it indicates the it indicates the whether the whether the carbon system or molecule carbon system is saturated saturated or unsaturated means whether it is a saturated or unsaturated means it is either either it is single bond or a double bond it can in, it is indicated only for primary suffix for example serial number 1 carbon chain type of carbon chain so here so here carbon carbon single bond is there it shows only single bond so in between only single bond is there can i call this is a saturation yes it is a saturated that is a here serial number i will write here this is a this is a serial number one here type of carbon system type of carbon chain then primary suffix primary suffix here if it is carbon carbon single bond is there we wrote uh, a n we wrote n if it is a uh, serial number two if it is a carbon carbon double bond means unsaturation with double bond unsaturation with double bond here double bond is present so whenever it is a double bond is present that is e that is e if it is a serial number three that is unsaturation with uh, if it is a triple bond nature means it is a unsaturation with a unsaturation with a triple bond with a triple bond so here that is a primary suffix e is i so if it is single bond is there and if it is a double bond is there if it is single bond is there and if it is double bond is there e if it is triple bond is there i for example we discuss about one example here ch3 then ch2 then ch3 this is an example so here first you have to check it out a root word what is the root word here how many carbons are there one two three three carbons are there prop plus suffix always you have to write down after the root word here any double bond is there no it is only single bond a n the total name is propane this is the IU pack name of the, the system. This one. Just you have to write down first the number of carbons, then after that the suffix. After that, suffix. That the suffix always to indicate the to indicate the primary suffix always to indicate the whether the carbon chain is a saturation or unsaturation. If it is unsaturation, is there in or I, you can check it out. For example, same molecule, sometimes they will use the molecule like this. Here CH3, then CH2, then CH double bond CH2. So generally, I will tell you where, how to start the numbering. So left to right or right to left, I will tell you later. But I, now we start 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 carbons are there. But plus first position, double bond is there. E, that is but 1 E. Due to one in. This is a name of the system. 